Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we are reacting to Angelina Jordan with another collaboration with Toby, I almost said Tony, Toby Gad and the song Bad Valentine. So the reason I'm doing this particular one is because I've had more than a few people when I did um, her reaction to If I Was a Boy um, mention this song and some have said that this is actually even a little different than what one may be used uh to with her so honestly that just piqued my interest so much that there is really no way that anything but this could be my next reaction to her so we're gonna go ahead and get it and just based on uh, just the opening still that i'm seeing on the video already i already have a feeling i'm just gonna like it just because of the setting if you know me um especially when it comes to live performances setting really plays a lot and as much as I love seeing performances with, you know, huge crowds because there's just such an air of excitement with it, there's also something about something like this where it just feels so small and bare bones, where it just feels very personal and intimate. And I think that in itself has a very strong and lovely quality to it when watching this. And, you know, there's just so many different things that have their own merits with it but i just you know this is just one of those things where some people may look at it see it being small and not be impressed with it but me i'm the type where i'm like you know i'll take something like small personal and intimate and put it on the same level as something that you would see like say someone performing at a sold out wembley stadium type deal you know to me they're both equally as good so but with her I feel like these small intimate ones just feel so much better because I think they just suit so much more to her style in a way, if you understand what I mean. But, um, but like I said, my interest was really piqued because people said that this is probably something I'm not used to hearing from her in terms of style and everything. So we'll see what they have to offer here. I'm really looking forward to it. So we'll go ahead and get started. I will leave a link to the original video in the description below. Let's go ahead and get started. Hey there, thanks for stopping by and I appreciate you being here. If you enjoy the content and would like to give some extra support to the channel, feel free to check the description for various ways to do so. Some which will include an affiliate link to Dubby, uh, which you use, you get a 10% off your order. And also a link to my merch store, which is constantly running promotions and deals, as well as a link to my Patreon page, which you can get exclusive perks and content. Naturally, liking the video and leaving a comment helps as well. Thanks again and I will catch y'all down the road. I'm already liking the melody of the song so far. It sounds really nice. I you up all that time. Gave you no reason why. Decided I got you more without a tear in my eye. Wow, okay. I had to hide when I saw you. On some table for two I knew I'd never see the sunshine with you So I spent my night with the moon I thought I told you I would miss a girl Okay, I think I see what people meant All right, I think I think I understand what people meant. Probably not different in so much the sound or the style, but probably the lyrics. Because I'm not used to her being this cold. I mean, good lord, she is cold-blooded in this one. But you know what? Props to her for doing a song like this. I mean, 
in all honesty, I'm sure there are probably other songs that she maybe covered where maybe it's like, I guess you could say the lyrics maybe don't match her personality like in real life per se. But honestly, I really want to give her props specifically for this one, considering that this is an original song that I feel like obviously, you know, it's something he had her in mind, you know, with writing this, you know, so, you know, kudos for her for kind of going out on that limb. You know, and I guess you could say, I don't know if I necessarily want to use the word villain, but it's the only word that's coming to mind for Mal, but like her actually being the villain of the song, you know, like I said, I probably would not go that far, really. It's just the only word that I could think of, you know, that really kind of describes it, if you know what I mean. So, but I mean, it's just like, that's not exactly the type of thing that I usually expect you know, with Angelina songs, especially original songs, you know, so I really got to give her a lot of kudos on here. But I tell you what, I really love the sound of it, too. I mean, the piano is great, you know, and it looks, um, I'm, no, because I think he's standing up. I don't, I don't think cello players stand up, but either which way, I'm horrible with my string instruments, so I'm sorry. But, you know, but again, just basically just got three instruments in her. I love small sets like that where they're able to do so much with it and that's probably her biggest strength is she doesn't need a lot to do a lot so but the sound itself while it, i wouldn't say really strays from what i'm used to with her you know there is you know like some slight tweaks where it's just like you can really you know just see her growth as an overall artist and so far this has this has really been an amazing song to watch so far because like I said, it just totally caught me off guard when I was looking at those lyrics. Just had a feeling it was time to let the flowers die. Baby, I've gotten so mean to you because you're always so nice. A little hint of remorse there. Jeez. Dude, Toby is getting it on that piano, isn't he? Get it, my dude. Dude, this sounds like it would be such a great song for her to duet with somebody with. But given they haven't recorded this yet, they probably might throw some backing vocals in there. Mm. Wow. Thank you so much, Toby. Thank you. All right, y'all. That was Angelina Jordan with Toby Gad, Bad Valentine. And you know what? Folks weren't lying. He was cold blooded in this one. <laughs> he was cold blooded. I am not used to that with her. That, that by itself is going to take some time to recover from, but whoo. Again, props to her for even going out on that limb and doing that. And I was saying right before the end, I was talking about how it'd be something great for her to do it with. Or at the same time, because in my head, especially when everything was kind of really working up, you know, with the crescendo and everything. Like in my head, I'm hearing so many like harmonizing vocals like in my head going on with this. And I actually do have to remember that. I know they said, you know, that I guess this release is in a few 
few months. Actually, this was May 16th that this was uh, recorded, it looks at. So it is very possible. Well, no, I haven't seen any actual, like, studio versions of this. So maybe it hasn't been recorded or at least released yet. But I honestly, it would not surprise me because I feel like, like, especially near that end, like, I just feel like, like I said, in my head, I'm just hearing so many, like, harmonizing vocals in that background just to really just add to that crescendo and everything. So I could easily see that happening in the studio version and boy, oh boy, what what a song this could be. I mean, right now, I mean, it's like, um, what's the, I mean, honestly, like with her EP that I've done so far, you know, I know I've done a couple songs from there, but I mean, between like Love Don't Let Me Go or Now I'm the Fool, like, those two are kind of like battling in terms of like my favorite song for her, even though her song The Shield is still right there. Like it's literally probably around Robin between those three. But I'm going to say this, when they actually come up with a studio version of the song, I'm probably going to react to it again and see what they add to it. Because as much as I say it's amazing how she does so much or so little, I'm thinking about all the things that could be added to this to just turn this into just an absolutely like epic masterpiece in a way. And I'm so forward to looking to see what she does with it. Granted, if they actually add absolutely nothing and keep it like this, I don't think it'll be a disappointment, but it's just, just what I'm seeing, what could be added in my head just really adds a lot of excitement for this. So whenever i see anything like a studio like version release of this song whenever i get to my next angelina jordan reaction in the schedule i'm probably gonna bump that song right up to the top because it's got me curious because in all honesty if they add all of that this could very well take number one spot for my favorite angelina jordan song because it sounds great i love the sound and everything the tone like even the Really, the piano is what does it for me. I and mean, the way he gets at it on that piano, good lord, Toby. Toby, Toby, Toby. My man. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got for right now. So I guess I will just go ahead and leave it at that. And thank you all for stopping by. Um, If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, feel free to do so. And make sure you hit the notification bell so you can be aware of any time a new video pops up as well as any live streams I might have. And in the meantime, also check out my other Angelina Jordan reactions right over there. Uh, thanks again for stopping by and I will catch you all down the road.